Alright y'all, what's up, what's up with it? So today we're coming out with another unboxing video, but we actually bought this ourselves here. We didn't order it, so we got a bad-ass game of PC we're about to unbox for y'all. So for y'all that are in the PCs, we're going to open it up, put a new silver power supply in it. We got a, a monitor to open up. And then we got a hard drive to put in there. Yep, we got a new, we have a SSD SATA. And also we have a game, uh, gaming keyboard that he really likes and enjoys. So, But I know all your nerds out there that have and built your PCs from ground up, I've done the same thing. The only reason why we've done this one is because it was cheaper and it was an easier option for him at the, at the time when we got this. And then on top of that, here where we are and where everything's at, it's definitely a lot easier. So, but yeah, I'm the guy that pretty much helped him do this. So we're going to do it from the ground up here and see how it works. Are you saying it's a pre bill You want to tell them what's in it real quick? Just in case someone out there wants to buy this Yeah, version? so this, this is actually a pretty decent build from what I saw. Um, for what I've got um, in this, so what we saw, it has uh, Windows 10 already installed, which every pre built usually has Windows 10 by now. But it would be a Ryzen 7 3700X, which I run in my PC. So it's not overclocked or anything. It's pretty much stock. It also has a 2070 Super, which I run as well with 16 gigabytes of RAM. So this PC will pretty much last you like ages without even upgrading. Personally, you can you can run this PC roughly for about a good, I would say three to five years if you really want to without upgrading. And then you could upgrade later down the road. But in my opinion, for what this PC is, this is exactly what I run. So I have no issues, no problems with any games I run or play. And I can easily get about almost 200 frames on every game I play, even Call of Duty. So it doesn't really bother me much. And then on top, of, there's a few extra bonus stuff in this as well. So, but um, personally, this this PC for what he got it for, which is about 1400, which is, is not bad at all. For $1,400 for something building like this, for what I had to do was about 18. There's a few cut corners that piece, that um, pre-builds do. That's why we did buy that um, silver power supply that I showed you. Um, that's the one common thing that we'll try to do the cut corners. And also the motherboard as well. The motherboard's another thing that they try to do, the cut corners. But with this one, I'm having, I'm hoping they didn't cut corners on that and just cut corners on the power supply. But we will see if it is a um, a cut corner um, entry level motherboard. But we'll see. Yeah, I'm gonna cut the video right here. We'll see you guys in a second. We're gonna get this thing all opened up, so you guys don't gotta watch all that. So I'm guessing this is gonna be all. Yep. All your cables right here, so it's pretty much it's pretty neatly packaged, which I'm surprised to be 100% honest with you. 1400 it's, bucks, a better damn well uh, be yeah. packaged package well. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, here's your power cable right here. I can set it up here if you want. Yeah, there you go. You can take that over there. Here's your power cable. Uh, here is your Wi-Fi adapter. It looks like so which yep. is going to be running for a little bit yep. until you can get LAN cable. So it's not going to be too bad, but. That's yeah, this looks like dope. your Wi-Fi Asus keyboard. Ooh, it's an Asus motherboard. Yay. Ooh, okay, so it's not going to be too bad. It's not going to be too uh, okay. bad. All right, so there's your little Wi-Fi yep. adapter. Set that yes. You can put that right over there with that if you want. And, oh. Structurals. So, oh, okay, so Set a Prime B. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> That's not bad. This is actually not a bad motherboard at all. All right, cool. Yeah, this is actually a pretty decent motherboard from what I'm seeing. And it also has two spots for in two M dot twos. There we go. Surprisingly. This so is there you go. This is the pre build you want to get. <laughs> this is actually not a bad pre build from what I'm seeing right here. This is actually pretty damn good. Surprisingly, sometimes it would be rough, but for what I'm seeing right now, this is actually not bad at all. I'll put, like I said, I'm opening it up as well and actually getting a look on the inside as well to make sure everything was set up properly so you don't have to worry about that though for all those pc guys that are out there all the time being like you better fucking make sure but <laughs> i know how people are trust me i know how these companies work so right. but yeah there's the instructions and stuff like that for you guys so you understand and all that kind of get a gist yeah. of how this all works so all right all right Read this for us. This is important. Okay, so we'll set all this up. So yeah, yeah we got to remove there. everything out of it. So yeah. keep that out. Okay. So that's not bad. That's not bad. Oh, I see the keyboard on the side right yeah. there. Oh, got a little mouse right. peeking out. 
Alright, so here's the cap. Okay. Woo! Keyboard we rock with. Okay. So this is what it came with. This is actually not too bad from what I'm seeing. That's cool. It's an LED. It's an LED keyboard, but we got a better keyboard to be honest with you. So just in case oh, y'all forgot. Yeah, we got a we got whole this, better keyboard. Uh, yes. <laughs> so yeah, this is actually not too bad for a keyboard. Yeah, that's the keyboard right there, guys. It so came with. It, it it does feel like it has it does not have MX Cherry keys like most people want. Um, so from what I'm seeing, well, let me read right. this real quick. Yeah, this is just a normal standard kind of re relaxed gaming keyboard. This is just kind of like that entry level gaming keyboard that if you're trying to get into a gaming, this is probably your best bet right here. Yep. For your mouse and keyboard. This is actually not bad keyboard to be honest with you. We gotta pull out that mouse it's poking out next. You see that you see that little mouse down yeah, there? That's right there. Alright man, go ahead. Go there ahead. I got, it, I got it. Uh I think that's the mouse at least. I'm pretty sure this is the mouse. Yep, yeah. that is the mouse. Ooh, this is this looks interesting. <laughs> Alright. Uh knife. where's your knife at? Right there. there you are. To be honest with you, I've never really bought a pre-built. So, but it's interesting I know, to see what it comes I, with. I know how pre built are just from videos and stuff like that on YouTube. I've watched before, and I've seen there's some horror stories with them. So, yeah, yeah. um, that's why I'm taking extra precautions with this. And I, from people from experience from other with other people that bought pre built and from experience with other people as well. But this is actually not a bad mouse either, Works. it has some key binds right here that you have. So there's one right there. Here's some other keybinds that you can use as well. One right there. And also here's your mouse sensitivity that you can mess with here. Scroll wheel is actually really smooth, surprisingly, from my opinion. Because um, I use a Corsair mouse with like a bunch of buttons on the side that's pretty high tech. I ha it's like about, it's not really, I would say high tech. It would be more of, a, I would say high entry level mouse so personally with me i like having a bunch of buttons on the side it's personal preference and how it fits your hand so this one fits my hand pretty well for um him he definitely may have a hard time for my opinion like i have short thumbs so it's kind of hard for me to reach this button without kind of moving my hand so and but everything else looks pretty pretty smooth pretty simple pretty easy it's definitely a lightweight mouse definitely not for the people who like the heavy mouses and stuff like that who like to move around a lot um and have that extra weight so they don't over adjust their aim but it's definitely a good mouse for starting in that keyboard i'm not i definitely wouldn't bag on that keyboard i it wouldn't la i don't wouldn't say i wouldn't keep it forever but if i was starting to build up a pc and stuff like that i'll definitely keep what this is right now this is actually not bad at all for what it is all right so what's next pulling out the, the so mother pull, yeah, itself the whole the whole holy grill all whole, right well grill so we'll come back to you yeah. when uh, when i have it opened up and everything like that and we can explain everything for you all right We'll see you guys in just a second. All right. All right, there she is. All padded up. There you go. Yeah, this is actually this is actually pretty good for my first view of this, actually. Not bad at all. We'll open it up, get it in there. Um, and what we're going to try to do is get everything all set up properly. And then we're going to kind of open it up, tear off everything slowly. But first, we're going to open it up. Like I said, make sure the fans are in the right position because I've had problems with that before. Make sure fans are in the right position. Make sure everything's all set up properly so it is running smoothly and not overheating when he's actually trying to use it. Yep. So, but we'll get this open right now. i got to right. see how to get this open. All right, now time to see the freaking wiring. <laughs> Give me a sec, I gotta pull off these bottoms. I need a screwdriver now. Okay. Nope. All right, we just got the foam taken out. Somehow we didn't have to take off a thing, but got an Allen wrench. Dick anyway. So hopefully, hopefully this is an Allen wrench. Don't tell me none of these are screw. small enough to fucking fit. <laughs> I swear to God. That would suck. That one kinda. <laughs> that one kinda. That's I don't like about pre-builds. 
things get smaller than this. Don't do this at home. Yep. <laughs> well, that's why it's handy to carry a knife. <laughs> so as you can tell, it's kind of a fucking rat's nest back here, but better. This is actually way cleaner than I thought it would be, being 100% honest. I'm just trying to see where all these cables go to. So, because we're going to switch out this power supply, but I got to figure out, because there's two cables here that go to there, and then I need to figure out where his SSD can go to plug into, because I know there's definitely somewhere else that it can get plugged into. I just got to remember where it can, can go, and this is supposed to be sticking right there. You can stay there. But in Daryl, this is actually not too bad. It's pretty clean, pretty nice, but definitely a pain in the dick. I'm not <laughs> gonna lie, because now we're gonna have to cut all this wire back here. We're gonna have to cut all these. All the zip ties. And then and unpluggy, pluggy in. Pretty much. It's gonna be a little messy. But we'll come back to you once we get it all done and Got it recapped. Yeah. So, See you we'll guys let you know. Because of the power supply that I got. So, guys, so I found something that's actually interesting about this. Because when you look here. Let's see if I can get it good. If you see what I'm talking about, there's something missing there. There's that one missing there. On the power supplies that I've, I've all got, I've had all the prongs in here. Because when you look here, there's all the prongs and everything are in there. All the, everything's in there and stuff like that. Yeah. And then all the power supplies that I got were right there. So, so yeah, I've had... it out with a bad power supply. So that could be the reason. That was a good thing why we bought little that, that little That's dude over there. That right there. Just in case. But I may be wrong. I'm not 100% certain. So with um, it could I could be 100% wrong. But if that's right, then that's a bad power supply that we just gotten. All right. Well, that's why we're switching it out. <laughs> All right, we'll see you guys in a little bit. Try and get this power supply swapped. So we'll see you guys then. All right, ready? Yep, Three. we are on right now. So all right, here we go. Got the cables all plugged in. The new, we power, got the new supply power supply down there. So the power supply that we pulled out um, was a, actually a gold one, but we did some reviews on it. It was not very good. Um, yep. I'm glad we went and got this one, the 700 watt. Um, the one that we got was an 80 plus gold for like 50 bucks. We looked online and did some research on it. It was not very good. I usually, I have a coarse air one that I have. That's pretty good. That one's roughly, I would say a buck 20 for how much it would cost me. So, but we got this one. We upgraded him to a 700 watt, uh, 80 plus silver, which is definitely the, it was definitely more than the one that we actually got for the gold yep. that they had in it. And the reviews on this one are like twice as better as the... Um, not better, but twice as good is probably the better way of saying it, um, than, uh, that gold that they had. The gold was definitely not very good. Yeah. So, um, that's why I definitely wanted to upgrade this, because I knew they cut corners somewhere. And there you go, there's that one. One thing about buying a pre-built is cutting corners right here, if you want to show them. Cut corners here at the power supply. And then also, they also cut corners on the motherboard. The motherboard's definitely a cheaper, uh, version of any motherboard that I've seen. Um... I would personally say if you're going to do anything, I would highly recommend the two main things is upgrade your motherboard or upgrade the power supply. We didn't want to upgrade the motherboard because we're not overclocking anything. So um, it's definitely going to be better um, to keep this board in here because since we're not overclocking, it'll be way smoother, way easier. And then on top of that, having the better power supply that we got is a lot easier and it will be a lot cleaner for him to use so right now we're all we're doing right now we're gonna throw these on yes his girlfriend yep, chose these girlfriend colors. pick the colorful <laughs> zip ties so get we'll, all the wires all pretty yeah, looking so. so we'll do that we're, we're gonna put these on there close this up uh um, we got a yeti yeah we're we're upgrade the mic too as well uh but from there all we're doing right now closing everything up starting to put everything together throw i threw his ssd together all we gotta yep. do is mount it here and then we're good to go and yeah. we'll be ready to go yep we'll see you guys when we turn it on Hey, so we got everything closed up now. So, um, well, yeah, on that on the power cable, if I didn't mention it before in this video, I don't remember if I did or not. Um, 
we definitely did uh, look at this power cable. The other one was fine. Um, and it was the same, same kind of power cable and everything like that. But uh, it was just definitely a little bit odd for me to see that. Because on my, on my one, on the Corsair one that I built, I didn't see anything like that before. So it was just caught me off guard. But um, yeah, everything looks pretty, looks right and everything. So we're going to run it up. I'm going to keep this, this part off. Just in case if we need to switch around these fans to make sure that they are sucking it like at this side sucking in there and then this side's blowing it out. So I'm gonna just have to keep it open just to make sure of that. Um but yeah, we're gonna hook it up now and get everything running. So see you in a few minutes. Alright, so we're sending it. Alright, moment of truth. Three, two, one. Oh shit. Yo. Okay. What the fuck? Yep, it's doing what it needs to. Good. Keyboard. Thought about the keys still lighting up. Oh damn, they are. Let's freaking go. That's awesome. All right, cool. And then there's a button, right? Turn it on. There. Well, that's a freaking, and then the, I'm guessing there's like a button up here to change the colors, right? No, it's, uh, oh, no? I, I gotta were... go on to, into the manual to do it. Why aren't you turning on? We're plugged in, bro. Mm-mm. I'm just trying to figure out why the monitor's not turning on. Okay, guys, so the PC is doing what it's supposed to. Monitor is being kind of... Hi. <laughs> it's on HDMI one, so there you go. Set up. Alright guys, so here's the setup. Um here's our keyboard. Nice shiny lights. It's Corsair. Um got a curve monitor. Uh yeah, our blue Yeti speak or uh, mic. Here's the PC itself. All turned on, everything. Everything works good. All we had to do was basically put a hard drive in there and then replace the power supply because there's a pretty bad power supply in there. But lights are looking good. There's actually a button up here to change the lights. I'm not going to do it right now. Got our antenna, our headset, but yeah, and then our little mouse, so pretty cool, but yeah, um, so that was Swift, who was with me, I played, I've been streaming with him a couple times, some of you guys know him, Swift went to bed, um, so we're just going to have a war zone install on here and then tomorrow we'll install Left 4 Dead and uh, Gary's mod on Steam because those are the two games I've bought and on there so far. But um, yeah, I'm going to have to get Black Ops 3 here soon. I didn't know it was still 60 bucks, so it's going to be interesting. But uh, yeah, um, we got a lot of customizing to do and a couple other stuff we're going to have to do on here tomorrow. But yeah, uh, if you guys have any questions about anything, just leave them in the comments down below. Um, hope you all enjoyed the video. Hit the like button, subscribe if you're new. Um, and uh, stay safe and uh, be good. And we'll catch you guys in the next video. Have a good one. Peace.